Hello, I'm Paul. And I'm Mark. Welcome to this video of Oracle Transaction Event Queues, or TEQ. Oracle Transactional Event Queues are built into the Oracle database and provide a high performance, high throughput, and reliable messaging platform for microservices, streaming events, and PubSub. TEQ supports partitioning and propagation and provides APIs in many common languages as well as Kafka and REST APIs. TEQ uses a new high-performance persistent in-memory implementation that delivers three to 10 times performance improvements over Oracle Advanced Queuing, while building on all of the transactional capabilities that have existed in AQ messaging for decades. And of course, we are continuing to improve TEQ all the time. We have automated migration tooling, automated REST endpoints, support for managing queues and topics in our great new CLI, SQLCL, and we are improving the Kafka client and connector support to make it easier to use TEQ in a Kafka ecosystem. So let's take a look. The new SQL command line tool is a modern CLI that's easy to download, has no dependencies, and is great for developers and using in CI systems. We can see information here about the various TEQ commands that are available. We can also see detailed information about commands and their parameters like the DQ command here. Let's create a queue called demo2 with multiple consumers and payload type JSON. Here you can see information about the queues in our system, including our new queue. Let's start the queue. And now let's add a subscriber. Now we can enqueue a message with some JSON data. We can also dequeue using the command line. We also provide REST APIs for TEQ. There are a number of APIs available. For example, we have an API that will allow you to get information about a queue. Let's get information about topic one. You can get more detailed information about partitions and we have APIs for consumers and clusters and all kinds of information about TEQ queues and topics. Using these REST APIs, we can create user interfaces like this one, which gives us information about subscribers as well as topics. We can drill down and see messages on a topic, send a message and so on. Yeah, that's very nice. Thanks, Mark. Very user-friendly. Now I'll show some of the Grafana console and Prometheus exporters. The Oracle Metrics Exporter is a highly customizable open source Prometheus Exporter that allows you to create Prometheus metrics from any Oracle database query. A very simple definition is shown here. These metrics are then scraped by Prometheus and viewable in Grafana, where alerts can also be created or imported from Prometheus Alert Manager. Let's take a look at a live Grafana console that shows various TEQ metrics and an alert. Now, the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the DQ in queue rate at the bottom right hand of the screen. I've set an alert to go off when the rate is below 0.5, when the DQ is half of the in queue rate for a period of time. And so I'm going to induce that situation by stopping this DQ thread in this very basic test. And so after a certain period of time, we'll, we will see that alert go off. Let's take a look at some of the things in the dashboard here. We have our queues, our queue names, our number of subscribers. We have our queue depth, message latency, in queue rate, DQ rate, in queued message and DQ message count and of course our DQ in queue rate. And we should see fairly soon that we've hit that alert condition. And there it is. Thanks Paul, that's great. Let's take a look now at the migration tool. Here I'm gonna to create a classic or advanced queue. 
And you can see if we do a query on user queues, that this is indeed a classic queue. Now let's check if this queue can be migrated. Issue count zero, that means there are no problems. This queue can be automatically migrated. Let's initiate the migration now. Now we can check the status to see if there are any problems found during migration. No compatibility errors and no unsupported features. So let's go ahead and commit to finalize the migration. And we'll check the queue table one more and notice that it's now a transactional event queue. Uh, and of course, we can also propagate topics and queues across regions. Um, so let me show you a quick demo. I have a producer producing messages into a topic in Ashburn, which is then being propagated to a, another database instance in Phoenix. Uh, and the messages will be propagated to that topic and consumed from that instance. Here I have a simple JMS consumer that's connecting to the Phoenix instance, as you can see here, Phoenix and the destination queue. And this is just gonna connect and start a subscription and wait for messages and any messages that it receives, it'll just print out uh, on the screen for us. So let's start that running now. Okay, we see that's connected and it's waiting for messages to arrive. And here's what our producer looks like. This is connecting to the Ashburn instance. You notice it's a different, it doesn't say Phoenix here. And it has the TEQ JSON, the source queue. This is going to connect uh, to the topic and start sending some data. In this case, I'm just sending a copy of Moby Dick line by line. So let me make this a little bigger so we can see what's happening. And I'm going to run the producer. And the producer also prints out the messages as it sends them. So you can see here, uh, our producer is sending Moby Dick line by line into the topic in Ashburn. Those messages are being propagated across to Phoenix. And our consumer is connecting to Phoenix and receiving those messages off the topic. Oracle transactional event queues provide interoperability with Kafka via Kafka Connector, allowing Kafka producers to sync messages into TQ and consumers to source messages. In this quick demo, we will see the Kafka Connect Sync configuration containing information for both Kafka and TQ brokers and its running state. A message is enqueued on Kafka, which the sync relays to TQ. The message can then be dequeued from TEQ in any number of languages. Here we see code to do so in PL SQL. And here we see the dequeued message. And now I will show direct compatibility with Kafka and TEQ using the O Kafka library. Oracle TEQ Kafka compatibility is obtained via the use of an OKafka client library. Simply add the client library to your application and replace the bootstrap servers in the Kafka configuration with the address of the Oracle database to gain the advantages of TQ while still using Kafka APIs. Let's look at a simple demo. Here we see the logs for an OKafka Java producer and we send a message to it. which is successful. Now we see an OKafka Java consumer and the logs show that it has successfully received the message that we sent. And finally, transactional messaging with TEQ and Oracle Converge database. We will compare and contrast the Kafka architecture on the left with the TEQ architecture on the right. The order inventory process demo flow is as follows. The order inventory process failure scenario demo we will give involves the following. 
inserting the order and sending the event, receiving the order, adjusting the inventory, however, crashing the inventory service after the inventory adjustment before the status event has been sent. We will now look at both architectures in a demonstration. We start with an inventory level of three and instruct the Kafka inventory service to crash after adjusting inventory and before sending a message. We place the order and see the status of the order is pending as we wait for the inventory service to start. We then see a successful order. However, when we check the inventory, we see that the inventory level has been reduced by two due to the fact that duplicate messages have been processed by Kafka. Turning to the TQ example, the inventory level is three again, and we tell the TQ inventory service to crash. We then place the order. We see the pending state while the inventory service restarts. And then we see the successful order. However, in the TQ case, we check the inventory and see the proper level was reduced by only one, showing a level of two. As we have seen, in order to maintain data integrity with the Kafka architecture, it is necessary for the developer to write additional code and handling. Whereas the developer is freed from such responsibility and error prone code in the TEQ case. We hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of Oracle Transactional Event Queues, or TEQ. If you'd like to learn more, we have lots of information about use cases, customers, sample code, and even workshops that you can work through at your own pace. 